Okay. Big day for physics. New physics system that is faster, more stable, and more accurate. Oh, great. Fantastic. And we do have game volume. Thank God. Okay, so uh, behind the scenes, I have completely switched from OBS to Streamlabs OBS. So literally everything here has been redone from the ground up, including all my webcam settings, all of the like alerts, everything. So it was an absolute mess to get everything working. Um, but it's a lot more expandable and it has a lot more we can do. So, I mean, that's basically saying the same thing twice. So with that, Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. Since we've been gone, a lot has happened. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, I mean, there's a whole new physics system. They keep adding stuff. They continually add stuff. The workshop is working better. And I want to go through and look at the things that have been added and the ridiculous things we can do. So let's see what Spook Vooper looks like and if it changed at all from the updates. I'm curious. All my thumbnails appear to be gone, but that's okay. Oh, there they are. Okay, Spook Vooper. Ah, oh, nah, still looking good. Still looking good as always. It looks like we have the colors still, motion. All the tabs seem to be pretty much the same. No, there was. Ooh, an add moods to Planet Button. Does it just randomly add moods? Um, it didn't seem like it did anything. Huh. Interesting. Oh, thank you for cheering, LJ Cool. You will get to number one. I believe in you. Okay, so I thought they added lasers. They may not have, though. That may still be in the works. Um, lasers would be awesome. Wee. Well, let's test out this new physics system and see if it actually is much faster. Because there are a lot of uh, limitations on the physics here when you have a lot of different objects interacting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the stress test. And I'm curious how much better things are looking here. Sphere of a thousand planets. Let's see how it runs. I also got a message from someone saying that the galaxies were heavily improved. So this is what I expected. It's still pretty laggy, but this is definitely better performance than before for the Thousand Planets. So it looks like there is improvement, but it's it's still stuttering quite a bit. Um, so is it super smooth as butter with a lot of objects? No, but it is better. So, I can respect that. Oh boy, let's just pause the simulation so that I can actually do something. It looks like the lag is actually graphical, it's not the CPU. Because even with the simulation paused, we're still hitting that low FPS. Huh, interesting. Let's load up the solar system. Now, I have basically the fastest consumer graphics card on the market, so, um, if it can't handle it, then, you know, nothing can handle it. So, let's go ahead and grab... I, I want to look at these new galaxies, actually, so, where's the empty simulation? Empty... New empty. There we go. Ugh. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see how these galaxies are. Someone said that it, they were pretty good now. I'm curious if they are actually good. Oh! Neat! So they weren't kidding. It has actually been redone. So you can actually change the gas content. Does that change how it looks, though? Let's speed up time to the point where we can actually see it, like, spinning. Do, do. Okay, it's starting to move. 
I mean, galaxies are pretty... Ah, there we go. Now we've got our shimmering, moving galaxy. And now it's spinning. Okay, fantastic. So you can actually change the age, density, radius, the dust fraction, though. This is all very interesting to me. Because this is brand new. So is that just going to make the dust brighter and more brilliant? I can't really tell if it's making... I mean, you can see... It is actually making it so that you can see, like, major objects moving around. Which is neat. It's named objects within it. This is really cool. Interesting. So this is actually quite the improvement when it comes to, uh galactic scale stuff because the galaxies used to be kind of completely uh well not very usable it even has an average star temperature which is dropping over time huh this is is the galaxy slowly dying over time oh no it's getting hot again huh very interesting let's turn off trails and labels I mean, does it look like a galaxy? They still have work to do before they get to, like, space engine level of detail. But it is looking better. So I give them points for that. Let's see if they changed the, uh... Simulation for... Where is it? You've got the collision between the Milky Way... And Andromeda. They didn't get rid of that, did they? That would be sad. Galaxies. Galaxy collision. Are they using the new galaxies for it? Or so oh, they are! Ah! They have switched. Interesting. This looks very different. Um. Wow, this was one of the most... This is like the first thing you saw on the last one, too. So this is... This symbolizes a very big change. This is a very big change. What up? Well, I mean, not much. We're looking at this galaxy, which I think, good job. You know what? That's actually a big improvement on a uh, very central part of the game. Although I still want my space lasers. And I'm not going to be completely satisfied until I have my space lasers. Let's see. Let's go under experimental. Collapsing momentum test. Uh, let's just go new. So, when we look at the change logs, a lot has changed since I've last played. Uh, I'm pretty sure even the background is new. Um... A lot has gone on, but when it comes to new physics and stuff, really the best way to test these things is to uh, put them up to the test. Let's do some classic experience, uh, experiments here. We've got our two earth collision test. I seem to be having trouble decreasing the time step. Why? There we go. Okay. That looks better. Man. So, you know, it's definitely acting a bit differently than before. Um, It looks like it actually does look a lot better. So, that new physics system seems to be doing them a lot. I wonder what they changed under the hood. But I look at the uh, pattern of the projectiles coming out. It actually almost looks like a shotgun blast, but one of the big things you notice is that they're actually going in the correct direction. None are, like, awkwardly flinging out in the incorrect direction. Um, yeah, so there is actually a lot of improvement here. And another interesting thing is the lighter objects are actually getting uh, accelerated more quickly from the explosion because these pieces of gas are flying out much more quickly than these uh, rock pieces. So, again, lots of little improvements in the physics engine. Big fan of it. Big fan of it indeed. It looks like the system is a little bit faster, but I don't have any, like, 
real stress tests that I've done to test that, so who knows. <laughs> um, simulation performance I have on a custom anyways. I have everything pretty normal, but let's throw it up to extreme. Let's throw it up to extreme just to see how that looks. And if it's going to uh, absolutely RKO my computer. Trails and labels off for your viewing pleasure. And the collision will now take place. Oh, jeez. So the time step is, is a little bit more challenging to... Uh, seems like it's a little bit slower to modify the time step now. I don't know, maybe that's just me being slow, but... Huh. When you turn it up to extreme, it's a lot more particles, but it seems less accurate, so... I'm not really sure what to say there. But... All in all, looking good. Oh, do you see that? How when it hit... Oh, when the meteors hit, it just it throws out a ton of smaller uh, pieces of debris. Which kind of scatter bomb. That looks very nice. Okay. Big fan. Performance on selecting and stuff looks good. Okay, well. Everything looks pretty good. I'm actually genuinely impressed. I mean, I will say it's I'm a little bit sad about how slowly this uh, game has moved forward. It... It has been a long time since any, like, extremely new things have come out, um... But, you know what? It's something. Although, it's gonna need a little bit of work. So this actually seems more laggy than it was before, and I don't know if that's just me being absolutely insane, but I've never really had trouble running this one before, so... I'm not really sure, to be honest. But that's just a quick overview of the f uh, new physics system. It certainly works. I mean, it looks good. Maybe there's performance improvements, even if I'm not seeing them. I mean, I don't have a low-end machine, so maybe it performs better on the low-end. Um, looks pretty neat. So I think that's going to be it for Universe Sandbox 2, but I do want to do something more in the future. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox 2 in the future, uh, make sure to uh, say so in the comments. Maybe we'll do some experimenting that isn't just looking over an update. <laughs>